Hello and welcome to another video tech tip brought to you by Digital Dimensions. My name is Maurice Cherian. I'm going to be showing you the power of the Power Trim tool. The Power Trim tool is available while you're in a sketch. So let's go ahead and show you the first example. Our first example here is going to be a key cutout, a keyway cutout. So the geometry here, you can see it needs to be trimmed up. So the trim entities command has trim and extend. And when you open up the trim command, it will tell you, and most people don't read these, these notes in here, but you can see it says to extend the entities, hold down the shift key and drag your cursor across the entities. So the shift key can be used. So if I'm holding down shift, I can extend that line up. But you don't have to use the shift key to extend the line. So in this case, I'll just pick near the end point of the line. I can drag it to a bounding entity or drag it to an arbitrary spot. So I'll pick my bounding entity. Same thing here again. I can just use the power trim where I can select the entity, the end point, or near the end point, and then just pick my bounding entity. So you can just use the power trim tool just the way it's supposed to be used. Just drag through, drag through. And if you accidentally remove something that you don't want to remove, just go back and use the red square to undo it without having to undo all the trims that you've done. So this is my first example. The second example is where I want to extend this center line out past this, past this edge here. And it just happens to have a midpoint relationship here. So that midpoint relationship, it's going to make it hard to actually get that to extend. But if you use the trim command, what you do is you just pick near the end point and then you just drag it over. And in this case, it won't snap to the, to that end. But once I get out of the trim tool, then I can use this to, to lock it down. So again, trim entities, can be used even though there was a midpoint relationship on this side too. Pick close to the end and then you can just drag it over close to where you need to go. And then I can snap this over to some existing geometry or I could have snapped it directly to a, a sketch entity. All right, my next example is going to be trimming up a spline. So when you trim a spline, sometimes it's very difficult to try to just reduce the size of the spline and cut off an end of it. Sometimes the geometry starts to move in ways you don't want it to. So some people use split entities, or some people do this. They'll put in a, uh, some users put in a center line, and then use that to trim the entity off. So that are split entities, and that'll work. But there's an easier or faster way to do it. You can just do this. You can go to Trim Entities and just select the end point and then just drag your mouse and you'll see the blue highlight of where your mouse is and then it will remove it and knock it down. So I'll do that on the other end of this spline here. So here if I pick the end point then I can move my mouse down and you can see it trimmed it up. Now the same thing with this power trim tool, you can extend, so if I pick this end point, I just pick my bounding entity, and you can see you can actually extend it up too. So again, you can extend it up. So all you do is you pick close to the end point or the end point, and then you just pick your bounding entity, and you can see that you can extend, not just trim splines. All right, my last example is just showing you that you can trim all different kinds of entities uh, except for closed circles and, and closed splines. But every other kind of geometry that's not closed, you can get these trim commands to work. So when you use the trim entities again, you don't have to hold down shift. You can just select close to the end point of what you want to extend. You can see I can move it or I can just 
select the circle and you see it trims it up real nicely same thing here if I want to I can trim this down or I just select the endpoint and then select the circle as the bounding entity and it trims it up and then you can just use the power trim like you're supposed to when you just drag it over and you can see it made a nice clean intersection between those entities so just to review you can use power trim by selecting it and selecting an endpoint or just picking an arbitrary spot you pick the endpoint to determine what side you're going to trim and then also here you can see I can pick an endpoint or I can pick you know a circle or lines for the geometry and if you use power trim and you blow away something you didn't want to just use the red box to undo it so you don't have to use the undo command to lose all the changes that you've done before. Try some of these time saving techniques to make you a more efficient modeler. Alright, that's going to do it for this video tech tip. Thanks for watching. My name is Maurice Cherian. Please go to our website at ddicad.com for more tech tips and CADcasts. Thank you.